In this short video, I show you how to make a delicious latte using the DeLonghi Cappuccino and Espresso Maker. Here we go. The machine is super easy to use. Once it is on, I select the size of coffee I would like to make for the day. It automatically grinds the beans at the top of the machine. Here is the whole bean I am using in this coffee today. Here we go. It is grinding the bean, compacting it, and pressing the fresh coffee. There is a water tank on the right side of this machine that my husband actually adjusted and created a filter system to hook fresh water to the machine so we do not have to keep refilling. That's why the coffee maker is so close to the refrigerator where the water line is for the ice maker. For the recipe today, I'm using about two and a half tablespoons of half and half creamer that I'm going to froth using the built-in frother on this machine. You'll want to make sure that your half and half or the milk that you use for the frother is ice cold. It's good to refrigerate this little uh, metal cup that will be used for frothing. And here we go, it's super simple. You're gonna click the button for the frother. While the froth water is preparing, it's getting hot, getting ready to steam. I like to add my stevia and cinnamon to the coffee. And it's flashing, it's about time to start the frothing. The machine will show you that it is ready to froth. I turn the knob to the left, and be very careful that steamy hot water or steam that comes out of the bottom of that frother. And gently move the metal container around that's cold with the cold half and half in it. It'll start bubbling up. Just gently move it around so it doesn't burn and it gets a nice even uh, froth going there. This can be a little messy if you're not careful. There it is, all done. Don't let it bubble over, of course. And then gently pour it into your hot coffee. I had already added the nutmeg, but you can, if you uh, know how to do fancy little designs with the froth, I have not yet mastered that. So I just basically do this, and sometimes I'll mix the froth right into the drink and you can add a little nutmeg on top if you haven't added it already and there it is cheers so here it is the DeLongli I have had this in my kitchen since 2013 and I've never had any problems with it I love it I like how it grinds the beans for me and it's so easy to empty the ground so I can use in my compost for the garden and there it is. I highly recommend this. I invite you to check out my website at brenhaas.com where I share more creative living ideas.